Hello everyone, Satorn here, back with episode number three. Uh, well, I figured out what we're going to do as far as market goes. So the French market really needs opium. And guess what we got in the new estate we just collected? Bunch of opium fields and plantations. So we're going to work on that. We're going to definitely uh, get a couple of these going because it's super expensive right now. It's 75% and there's actually an input shortage. So that's really, really good for us. So we'll do that. Uh, we, have, again, don't have a lot of people in our main state. So we're going to probably maybe do greener pastures over there with a green grass campaign, I guess it's called. Um, and see what we could do and then I'm gonna prepare ourselves for war. We're gonna get ready We're gonna need some convoys, especially if we do some naval invasions and things like that I think our naval base is big enough and we need a lot of bureaucracy We have 53 coming in but to be able to Incorporate all that we need here for the new state. We need 68.5. So we're kind of in the negative here So what I was doing is taking a look at the government administration. We only have one right now uh, but we now remember we switched over to professional bureaucrats. So what we could do is actually make a little bit of money here because look, the aristocrats become bureaucrats. I guess we get a little bit more money in the substitution here. So this is nice. So we'll get a little bump up. Another thing to know is landowners, their clout has dropped out. They're only 13%. Look at that line. Doesn't that feel so good? So the landowners are no longer sitting on top. We broke into the top 10 for worldwide produced wood. That was a mouthful. So Cambodia is just below the United States. So hopefully we can catch up to that. We're going to also take a look at opium. Maybe we have a chance here um, as time goes on to catch up. But I, it's going to be pretty tough. I'm sure there's other uh, countries that have been producing it a lot longer than us. Let's see real quick. Uh, we're not a significant producer yet. So we have a diplomatic play going for Laos. Uh, we brought France in. So we should be in pretty good shape. Uh, they're fearful, so I think they're probably just going to back right down. So let's see. Unless they can bring somebody else in. I don't think they're going to want a war. They're still fearful, but I guess they're hanging in. Wow. Oh, there you go. Uh, back down in the diplomatic play against France. And now we own another state. So this is pretty good. We've got... Uh, oh, we didn't get many peasants. We got a lot of unemployed. We picked up some logging camps, some cotton, rice, some opium fields. This is pretty decent. I mean, it's nothing great, but I think we're finally making uh, headway. Si <laughs> Siam is definitely getting squished. Cambodia is making steel. We're still doing wood and opium, of course, but steel is now on the menu, which is really cool. Uh, we're getting our industry up. We're also trying to pass a couple laws. It's been very, very hard this past 10 years. We're trying to ban some slavery, struggling there, and we have national supremacy. I'm trying to get to like cultural exclusion or even maybe racial segregation if we're going to need to. Uh, this is just going to help with a lot of the turmoil that we're getting by taking over these other states that have different cultures. We have a revolution brewing. Uh, they want to preserve the debt slavery. Of course, the landowners do. Uh, but we have radicalism, extreme, but support low. So we think we should be okay, but we'll see how it rides. We had to back down on the debt slavery to stop a revolution. So we're going to have to go back and see what we could do there. As far as our state here, we're finally uh, got this completely incorporated. So this is really nice. Had a huge boom here. Also, uh, definitely getting these other industries in like the steel mill. And we just started a motor uh, industries and we did a little bit more textile mill. Switching over uh, from the agriculture to these other urban buildings is really making us a lot of money in taxes. It's that time again. We're doing another diplomatic play on Indochina, trying to take uh, Bangkok pretty much because it has 300,000 peasants. So it's going to be even more for us. It's a pretty good diplomatic play because we do have France on our side. They have a lot on their side, but we got them cocky and fearful. Um, they do have Portugal, which is not a big deal. Uh, and some smaller states here. They do have the Dutch East Indies, which is pretty big. And uh, we, yeah, we'll, so, so we'll see what happens. I mean, they got some smaller stuff, but I'm hoping uh, we could just scare them out of here and grab us another state. And again, for another obligation from France, we now have Bangkok, which is awesome. This is going to definitely uh, help us with our economy, no question. We ended up taking up uh, ooh, two government administration buildings. So we have to see if we need this. Uh, this may be crushing our money here. Uh, other than that, logging camps, we got some opium plantations. No big industries, but it's just more and more peasants, which is what we need. We also have a uh, double level port and six barracks. Yeah, so we got some things here. We're going to have to probably clean up for our economy, but overall, this is huge. 
The year's 1866, and our GDP almost doubled from uh, the last 10 years. So we're at 5.1 million uh, in 1856, but now we're at 9.6, which isn't too bad. Our population did double, so we did take over quite a few states here, and it's pretty tough. So taking over states and uh, having all this turmoil definitely doesn't help, and also trying to uh, incorporate the states is really tough when you're small. Um, being underneath Dynam is really, really making things hard for us because we're underneath Dynam, but Dynam is also underneath sort of, or has a defensive pack and the custom union with France. So it's kind of like we're layered here and I don't, not sure how we're going to get out of this or if we even are going to be able to, we got to get strong enough militarily, I think to, to break out or get some support from somewhere else. So we'll see how that goes, but that's definitely what's, uh, struggling us as well as, the amount of people, amount of peasants was tough, but now that we're taking over more land, we picked up about 500,000 more peasants. So that's really good for us to grow. So we're going to try to do that. Our standard of living uh, definitely went down. So I wasn't really paying too close attention to that. That went from 14.2 down to 12.1, which is okay because we took on so many other states that had just low standard of living that I didn't expect uh, it to really go up anymore. So we'll we'll keep working towards that. Our radicals, however, and our loyalists are getting out of control. So the radicals of 1.5 million compared to 200,000 loyalists is kind of scary. So I'm going to have to try to enact that, make people a little bit happy there. We also got our laws. Uh, we're still trying to get cultural exclusion. I think this will help with some of the turmoil. Um, so I want to get that squared away. And definitely a lot more is opening up. I think we might get out of autocracy and start getting some voting because government legitimacy has been a little bit of a struggle as well. Still can't quite get rid of slavery so that's also uh kind of hindering us here so we'll see we got uh, another 10 years and we'll go i think 20 years in this video rubber has been discovered in the state region of malaya so this might be some land we want to take over we're going to keep an eye on it well our turmoil is going down it's 48 percent still taking a while we have a while to incorporate but i just feel that we need some of that rubber so i think we're going to try going to war with Johor. Well, that war worked out beautifully. We didn't have to get anyone else involved, and they just backed down. So we now we now own the land of Malaya, uh, which is really good. But now we also have a lot of unemployed down here. So we're going to have to figure out how we're going to work this. But I didn't expect it to go so as easy as it did. So I'm very happy. Didn't cause any obligations at all. So what's really good is cultural exclusion has been passed. Uh, now we'll accept... Uh, any culture that's got the same cultural trait with any primary cultures in their country. So this is this is good. Um, I'm hoping what this will do is alleviate a lot of our issues with turmoil. So let's see. States turmoil is dropping super fast. You can see this here. Uh, so definitely that law made a huge difference. We want to get that migration attraction, that tax waste away. Um, but I wanted to also, we didn't have the authority to keep up with the <laughs> violent suppression, but it's going down so much faster. So really, this is going to get our states in good, good control. So I'm very happy. Railways have been unlocked. So this is definitely going to help uh, for um, probably our opium plantations and some of our other ones to uh, free up some labor if we need to. Also, this will help us with some infrastructure too. We got another diplomatic play going. This time we got Britain to support us. Even though they have a lot on their side, it doesn't really matter. Uh, they're super fearful right now. What we want to do is connect Laos. It won't cost us anything extra, which is really good uh, in terms of because it's a split state. So uh, bureaucracy, because we already got these incorporated. So that'll be nice. Uh, yeah, so I think this will probably be another bully war. So let's see. All right, looks like Britain wasn't enough to make them back down. So we're at war. This is going to be a little bit messy, but we'll see what we can do. In the middle of the war, we had a large number of Moro people beginning to migrate. So that's a little, <laughs> a little unfortunate during the time when we're at a major war, but okay. <laughs> And the war is over. It was a close one, but we got everything. It is all set. That is it. Siam is all ours pretty much except for this piece here, So, which is really good. So we're, we're getting there. So we broke Siam so hard that now they have a uh, peasant revolt going on. So we'll see how that goes. All right, big shift. Uh, Dynam decided it looks like we're at a truce with France. So we're out of the customs union here with uh, France. So this is actually very good and bad for us at the same time. Our market is completely effed, but uh, we now have the potential of going against Dynam without France getting involved. We really should have been backfilling the economy. We can see here we weren't producing any paper, and paper is sorely in need. We have uh, wood, that way too much wood, so we're going to have to be definitely doing some paper mills, no question there. Our uh, fabric is a little bit ahead in our wheat, so this isn't too bad. 
We really do need to use uh, a good chunk of our wood here. We want to start making some clothing. So some of the staples have to come back in. We may actually have to reduce. We'll see what we can do here on engines because engines are really in trouble as well as steel is super overpriced. Iron, we don't have the basic iron for steel, so that's a problem. Tools are way in need and so is coal. So we're going to focus on tools first, I think, to get the economy going. We're going to also throw in some paper as well. Uh, and just see what we can do here. We're going to be in a massive decline for a while uh, until we get things straightened out. Again, uh, we're low on <laughs> arms. We're low for our military in general. Dynam's got a huge army compared to ours. So we'll see. Maybe they will de uh, demilitarize a little bit, but uh, we'll see. We have way too many man of wars as well. So yeah, we got a lot going on. We have a huge migration of Thai people. I don't know why. Uh, we're in huge deficit, but uh, that's what's going on. So we'll see. We're still trying to get this economy turned around. Wealth voting has passed. So there we go. Uh, we'll see how this works. Hopefully, uh, you know, the landowners aren't ha super, super thrilled about this, but I, th I think we'll be okay. We can now get women's suffrage laws as well. So I think this is a definitely a step in the right direction. So it looks like we had new parties formed. Conservative Party is now the monks and the landowners, and the Liberal Party is the industrialists and the intelligentsia. So it's 1876. We got the market pretty much straightened out. We're really not relying on uh, <laughs> Dynam at all. We're pretty much all of it, uh, which is pretty good. So when we do break free, which is the plan, hopefully in the next 10 years, then we should be in okay shape. Um, so you see here, staple goods are not, you know, in the worst of shape. Uh, we're still trying to get paper under control. Furniture and clothes is never good. Uh, but everything else is pretty decent. As far as industrial stuff, we still have things that are super cheap. We're going to be building even more and more weapons. Uh, we do need sulfur, though. So that's something we're going to have to figure out. Maybe conquer somewhere. Because right now we can't open any trade routes. And we need it quite a bit. We were 22 uh, down in the hole here. Luxury stuff. Again, we have a lot of things that are super cheap. So I love to be able to have the control of our own market here. Be able to do what we can do. And again... Uh, our you know military is doing pretty decent, and that's what we're trying to build up right now. We are at uh, 24 battalions with 138 army power projection. Dynam, however, I don't know how they're doing it, but they're super strong. They've got 296, so we're still about halfway there. Uh, so what I want to do is kind of boost this up and uh, maybe have someone be able to join us. I want to break free from here, and then uh, we could really get rolling. Again, we don't have too many years left in the game, so I'd like to see if we could do this rather soon. Uh, but I am pretty happy because we are now uh, 75th in the world, which is good. We jumped up from 81 from 10 years ago. Our literacy went up a little bit. Our GDP did go down, but that's expected. We got out of the French market and ended up kind of being the same now. So we took a huge dip. You can see it there in the graph. And then we brought up, which is fine. Um, as far as population goes, we did uh, go up to a million more people in population. So we didn't double like we've been doing, but that's okay. Our uh, standard of living, you know, went down for sure. I mean, it was, it was going to happen. We knew that once listings were available in the French market. We still have a ridiculous amount of radicals, so we're going to have to get that situated as well. Uh, but overall, we're pretty good, even law-wise. There isn't too much that I want to do. I want to get rid of slavery, but... I, we're going to radicalize too much here uh, with the landowners and the rural folks. So we're going to have to try to get that as well. Uh, but everything else here is not too bad. Maybe we'll get out of monarchy, but I don't really see anything here where I'm like, I really need to do religious schools would be nice, but man, our literacy is not bad at all. Uh, charity hospitals that could help maybe if we go to public or uh, even private health insurance. But again, it's not that big of a deal. So I think overall we're, in really decent shape here, we could start getting some bureaucracy and start making these better if we wanted to. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see where we want to go from there. But what's nice, uh, definitely in these 10 years, is we took a lot of land. There's no more turmoil anymore. Well, there is turmoil, but not as much. We were in like 60%. So this is slowly ticking away. Uh, even here, it's slowly ticking away. We got some infrastructure problems we got to take care of, but that's okay. Um, once this turmoil gets uh, taken care of, I, you know, I, I think things are going to be in nice shape. So I'm, I'm really happy. We're going to keep going and uh, see you in the next episode. For the swarm.